So hey everybody. So this video is a little different than some of the videos that I make in that it's going to be kind of an educational video for probably more of the younger folks, probably the people who are in their, you know, early to mid 20s, maybe even their late teens who are, you know, have their first job and they're wanting to buy a truck and they're fiercely brand loyal. The ones that leave comments saying one brand or another sucks and, you know, has really no educated reasoning for why they say that other than the fact that they're just extremely brand loyal when they really have no experience with a brand to be that brand loyal. Where I'm going with this is oftentimes people are willing to sacrifice a lot to get into something that they think is what they want when they really don't know for sure. Those earlier years that you start buying vehicles, and this even goes for people who are in their 30s, 40s, 50s on up, it really has no age boundary. But you get so fixated on having a certain brand that you overlook other potential brands that may even have better value to get the brand you're looking for. Let me give you an example. I actually have a good buddy of mine who wanted a Chevy Silverado so bad that a brand new one that he went and bought a brand new Silverado um, in a two wheel drive extended cab variant when what he really wanted was a four wheel drive crew cab. But because the cost difference was so great, he decided to settle for the extended cab two wheel drive truck. And, you know, six months, a year later, he traded it in at a pretty big loss to get the truck that he ultimately wanted and probably, I'm not going to say should have gotten in the first place, but the truck that he really wanted. And where I'm going with this is that we compromise a lot in life to get something we want, but not necessarily something we should get. And let me clarify that. I'm not saying that you can't go out and get a truck that you want. What I'm saying is if your bias towards brands leads you to buying a certain truck and settling for it because I'm only going to have this particular truck, then you need to really open up your mind to become more practical. And let me give you an example. So let's say that you have a good job and you have a budget of $40,000 to buy a truck. And you want that truck to be a crew cab diesel pickup truck. Well, the reality is if you're looking for a new vehicle, there's only one manufacturer that's gonna have a reasonably equipped diesel pickup truck for $40,000 or less. And that's going to be Ram. If you decide to go for a GMC, a Chevrolet, or a Ford, you're going to end up going over your budget to get into that specific truck. So if you go and say, I want a Ford Super Duty diesel four-wheel drive crew cab truck, and I'm not going to settle for anything else, well, what you're going to find is you're either going to get the most bare-bone work truck version and maybe it still might even be beyond your budget or you're going to have to settle for a truck that's not what you want just to keep you in that Ford brand for example you may say well you know what the diesel's $10,000 is a $10,000 option so I'm just going to settle for the uh, 6.2 liter gas V8 because it's going to knock 10 grand off of the price and you know what the crew cab is an additional $3,000, so I'm going to settle for an extended cab because it's going to knock $3,000 off the price. Now, all of a sudden, you can get into the truck you're looking for for $37,000, and you're happy until a month later, and you're like, man, I should have gotten the diesel. I should have gotten this. I should have gotten that. And you have buyer's remorse and buyer's regret because what you end up doing is compromising because you're so brand loyal that you're not willing to look at a competing brand that will probably offer you everything you're looking for and maybe even then some. And the example of that is if I weren't so brand loyal and I said, you know what, which truck manufacturer can put me in a crew cab diesel pickup truck that is four wheel drive, that's not a bare bones package that I'm still gonna get Bluetooth, I'm still gonna get power windows, door locks, um, it's still going to have a comfortable package with it, a reasonable infotainment system that can bring me in at under $40,000.
Well, the only manufacturer that really has that is Ram. And if you can put your bias aside and say, I'm just gonna shop for the truck based on the body configuration and the specifications I'm looking for, well, now you're more likely to be satisfied with your purchase than if you had just settled for a truck from the brand that you love, but not with the features or packages that you're, you're looking for. So I hope that makes sense because the whole purpose of this message is that if you're shopping based on what you want in a vehicle and you move the brand to a second or third category of need, then you're gonna be a lot happier with what you end up purchasing at the end of the day. Again, all these newer trucks are very reliable. They aren't gonna give you problems. You can't say, I'm gonna get a Ram and never have a problem, or I'm gonna have a, a Power Stroke and never have a problem. The reality is, is you could get a Lemon, but you're unlikely to. And when you're shopping for a vehicle, just pick the body configuration, the type of engine you want, the type of drivetrain you want, and what you'll end up doing is, as long as it meets the capabilities of what you're trying to use it for, for instance, towing a fifth wheel, towing a travel trailer, a boat, whatever you want, then brand put brand aside and be a, a smart shopper and buy the truck that fits your budget and is willing to give you what you're looking for, even if it's not the brand that you originally were looking at. So I hope this has been informative. Um, if anything, I just want you to kind of take a different perspective of how you look at different brands when you're shopping because if you can get into a really nice truck at a more affordable price that has all the bells and whistles, all the features you're looking for in a body configuration that you're looking for, I think at the end of the day, you'll be a far happier buyer and you won't have buyer's remorse. So that being said, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, I hope you like the content that I put out. Everyone have a wonderful evening.